This is just to show our technique on how we um, film patients for our blink study. This is our pupillometry table that we have converted into our blink study. And so we've modified it a little bit, but really I'm just showing you this to show all the steps from beginning to end on how to start um, to record a patient. Most important thing, plug in the table. And if you'll come over here, you'll see a few other important steps. So that plug plugs on into the entire table where everything else is plugged in underneath. So if for some reason you're having any challenges, you gotta make sure that your other plugs are installed underneath. Then after you've got everything plugged in, you gotta make sure the camera and the table itself is turned on. This is the master switch, turn that on. Um, and this is the, how you know the master switch is on, is one of your lights has actually turned on. You can dim or brighten that light if you want to. Also, the master switch has a little red light on it indicating that it's on. So, next, you need to make sure that your other lights are on, which are here, and they also will just turn on, um, and that's how you know that switch is working. Okay, so the first step in um, recording an individual patient is to turn on the camera. So there's a little black button on top of the camera, and you hit that button and the camera will turn on and light up. It takes a second and you'll hear the whir of the camera actually start. And there it is, now our camera's on. So I'll show you, uh, we'll set up a patient and I'll show you how to go through that. So we have our lovely model here. Um, so anytime you're gonna video a patient, it's important that they put their chin in the chin rest and make sure that their forehead's touching because their camera has a very narrow depth of focus. If you'll come over here, Brad. And um, next you take your lights, make sure they're on, and you'll notice that the camera uh, is very dim. It doesn't show much until you actually get light on the subject. So I'm, uh, I'm pointing it at her face now, but you really can't see much until you get the lights on. And then you can see that that actually shows up in the camera. So I'll get it on her eyes, which is what we want want to focus on and then like I said the camera itself has a very narrow depth of focus so we're gonna blind her and get lots of light on there and we're trying to avoid casting too many shadows and then if you'll film right up here Brad we've marked the camera for where we want our focal point to be so you can see the focal point and the actual lens of the camera need to line up if they're off then it's not gonna work for our study so we line those up and if you film the screen it's important to go in and out to wherever the camera is most focused. And then you simply hit the record button once to get in record mode. It shows that you're in record mode here. Hit record twice. And then you just wait for her to blink four times. Um, she's already blinked once or twice. We'll pretend like she's blinked four and it's done. You can hit stop here. And now you've recorded your patient. That's all you gotta do. Thanks.